Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be going through an example using Minio. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, Minio is an object store similar to S3 um, that's used by Amazon. But by using Minio, it allows us to play around with objects, it allows us to upload objects, create buckets, and all that type of stuff that you would do within AWS. But you can run it locally, so you don't have the cloud costs of something like AWS or Azure. So, let's just start by going to the Docker hub for Minio. So, if we just um, look at this, we can see that the first thing we need to do is pull our Minio image. You do need to make sure that you have Docker installed, and to check that, you could just put in docker dash dash version and you should see some version it doesn't need to be the exact same version as mine so just paste in your docker pull command and hit enter now if i do a docker uh, images i should see that image on my machine and once you've finished downloading you should also see it so if we just do a docker images and um, we have a look here uh, we can see that I have this here. Mini, I also have other ones. You um, you won't have these other ones. You might have some of them, but um, you won't have them all. But this is the one that we want to uh, look out for. So once we have this, we now want to go and run Minio. So what we need to do is, if we go here, um, you can see we've got this command. This is the Minio documentation. So we can just go and copy this command. Now you could change some of this information. So for example, you, these ports, 9000, 9001, the Minio root user, the Minio root password, you can change these to whatever you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep things exactly the same. Back to our terminal, we need to go and copy in our command so uh, we've got this and just hit enter and it should start up our minio console so one thing to just keep in mind when we go and create buckets and we upload our files that could be a text file that could be an image could be whatever there's two different ports that we've used we've used 9000 and we've used 9001 now the port 9000 is going to be the api as it says here so if we want to hit our Minio um, endpoint with like a curl command or like postman or something like that, we would need to hit 9000, but if you want to view it in the browser, you're going to hit 9001. So if you want to open this in the browser, you can just go and copy and paste this link here. Just go and open up a new tab in our browser and paste that link straight in and hit enter. And once you do this, you'll be greeted with this login page. Now, the username and the password is just auto-filled in here for me. But you just go and copy this uh, username and copy this password here and stick it in here and just hit login. And you should be able to get access to the Minio console then. So once you go and hit login, you can see that this is the dashboard for Minio. And now that we're kind of finished with that terminal for the minute, I'm going to just go and expand this a little bit. So we can see there's a few different things, there's a few different options that you can go and experiment with yourself. But some of the main things we want to do when we're using Minio is we want to use it to store objects. And before we can store objects, we need somewhere to store those objects. So the same way that if you have files, you need a folder to store that file in. So first thing we do, we can go up to buckets here, and this will be the page that we see. And then we can go and create a bucket, and your bucket can be called whatever you want. Um, we could just say, what do we call it? bucket one. So if we create this bucket one, just go and hit create bucket. 
Now, if we go back to buckets here again, you can see we've got this bucket one. If we were to create another bucket, it could be, you know, called configs or it could be bucket two or whatever. Now, you will see if we hit manage, there's a couple of different options. So we have, if we want it to be encrypted, if you want to add some tags to it, the bucket policy and a few other things, we're going to change this um, a little bit later on to make it publicly available. But for now, we're going to go back to buckets and we want to go and place something inside our bucket. So if you just click this bucket here, if we look inside, we see this location is empty. Please upload um, a new file. So what we want to do is we want to go and create a new file locally on our machine. And then we're, going to we're just going to upload that file to Minio. So we just go back to our terminal and let's go and create a file so at the minute uh, we're in Ryan so we just want to go into desktop and we're just going to go into other we do an ls here you can see there's nothing in this folder at the minute so I'm just going to go and create a file I'm going to say a vi I'm going to say test uh, test file one two three uh, dot text dot txt. So in this, I'm just gonna say this is a test, and um, and once we've got that, we can just save. Now I'm using vi here. You can go and create this file any way you want using you know text editor or using whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm just doing it this way because it's easy for me. So we've got this new file. That's the main thing. It's a text file. It doesn't really matter what type of file it is for this. Now we want to go back to our browser and we want to upload this file. So if we go and hit upload, upload file, you can also upload folders and you can see this is where we are, right? So this is the one that we've just created um, so just click on that and hit upload or open and you can see that it has been successfully uploaded so I guess to test this out it also says the size it's quite small it's only 20 bytes if we click on this file we can do a few things with it we can share we can preview and um, you can see this is a test file we can download and if we download uh, this here double click it we can open it and it actually opened on my other monitor so let's just drag that drag that over a bit yeah so this is this is the file that it opened we had something like postman or some sort of client that would call this file if we wanted access to it so if we open a different browser um, we put in the URL so uh, our bucket name is going to be bucket bucket uh, bucket dash one or bucket one I can't remember the name of it um, yeah just it's, it's just called bucket one so we need to put in uh, localhost because that's it's run locally port 9000 because that's API port bucket one and then the name of the file so the name of the file is test hyphen file uh, one two three now if we put this in we should expect to get um, this an access denied so let's give it a go and see do we get it and that's exactly what we do so if we were to copy this and put it into a client like postman make a get request and hit send this time you know we just get the exact same thing back we get an error and the message is access denied and the reason for this is because it's not publicly accessible um, now to make it accessible, 
we could go and change our bucket policy and to do that it's really simple so just open this back up and we're going to go into our bucket and we're going to just change our access policy on it so if we go to buckets we select manage whatever bucket we want to change go to our access policy and change this from private to public set this do a refresh now it says public so if i go back to uh, my browser now do keep in mind that this is in this is a different browser i'm in um, and hit enter now we can see this is a test file and if we go to postman if that's something you're familiar with using as well and we hit this we can see this is a test file so i hope you've learned a little bit more about minio today if you like the video you know what to do